For many Chinese here and abroad, June 4th, 1989 is a day they will never forget because that is when the forces of tyranny squashed the fragile rose of freedom that had been so carefully cultivated. That is when thousands of students and others were literally mowed down in Tiananmen Square. And today, Chinese Americans gathered at Cleveland City Hall to do something they could not do in their homeland, pay homage to the voice of the people. The voice of the people may have been silenced under the continuous oppression of the corrupt regime. The destiny of a billion Chinese, however, cannot be denied. Congresswoman Mary Rose Okar says she strongly opposes the president's plan to extend most favored nation trade status to China. I think it's very important for our country not to send mixed signals to countries and their governments like China that are violating the human rights of their people. Millions of Chinese were not allowed to celebrate this anniversary. Beijing remains under an iron rule. Mike Chinoy is there. 